Hey everyone, um, so after the Mammoth video the other day where we compared these three frothers from um, Nespresso, the Aerochino 4, 3, 3, 4 and Barista Maker, check that out if you missed it. I just thought I'd share something a bit more light-hearted today that happened to me the other day. I was absolutely devastated. Um, you might remember last week I unboxed this virtual travel mug, travel coffee mug, on the channel. Um, and I was, we went out with it, did a, you know, took it on a long journey. But the very next day, I was absolutely devastated because I dropped it. Um, and I think it, what it is, with this other travel mug I've got, the Touch Travel Mug, with the ridges on it that go up there, like, I'm so used to holding that. You can even, like, jump it around in your hand and nothing happens to it. And it's only, oh, to be honest, I feel like it's holding me, not the other way around. Um, and I'm that used to that, and it's a bit skinnier as well. I think I just got a bit overconfident with this because it had a rubber band around it. I thought, oh, it's gonna, you know, I don't need to worry. Just nice, lightly hold it. And it just, I think maybe my hand, when I went a bit too high, and it just slipped straight out of my hand and I dropped it onto the worst type of concrete floor possible that you could imagine. Um, it was like rock hard concrete, but it also had like spiky stones sticking out of it. Like really hard, tough concrete. The worst thing you could drop a travel mug on. But, surprisingly, I thought I'd wrecked it, I thought that's it, it's going to have a massive dint in it. But I don't know if you can see the damage, it's, it's minimal really. Um, but you, you can see the little dots there, I don't know, can you pick that up yet? So there's one there, one there, and then up on the rim here, I caught that. I don't know if you can see the little chunk I've took out of that there. Did it catch it anywhere else? But yeah, just around the bottom here as well. But really, if you'd have seen the concrete, I'd drop that on. Um, it was horrendous, so I just wanted to share it because one, it did stand up fairly well to taking a good knock, and I thought that that might, you know, for expenses they're not cheap, nineteen pound this one I think it is. Um, you might have wanted to know is it going to be sturdy. Two, I wanted to share it. Don't don't make the same mistake I did. Don't become overconfident when you get it because you've got this rubber band. And uh, it, it is good. It does grip, but just still be careful with it. Um, Three, to point out the difference in size between the mugs, because that has actually, I think that made a difference as well. And my wife commented on this. She said that I've obviously got big hands, she's got smaller hands, and she actually struggles to hold this one properly. Um, it, I don't know how she'd deal with the Alto mug when, if I eventually get one of those, because that must be massive. But this one, she does struggle to get a full hand round it and grip it properly where she likes this one. Um, and I, pre I prefer the hold of this one. And it's weird because even though it's metal, like I say, because of these ridges that sort of go out, they go out gradually as you go up. It's called the Touch Travel Mug and maybe that's why. But I just find I can't drop it. You know, if I, if I even try to drop it, I can't. But with this one, I, it did slip out my hand. But probably just overconfidence. Um, is there anything else to mention about them? That's probably it really. I just wanted to show you because you might have thought... You know, what if I damage it? It's expensive. What if I damage it? Is it gonna? Am I gonna regret buying it? But that's the damage I did. I'm still devastated. I'm still gutted. You would be, wouldn't you? But you know, it's still there, and I'll still be using it, and it's not gonna end my world. Um, but thanks for watching this. I hope it's just provided a little bit of extra information on the travel mugs. And um, we've got plenty coming up over the next week or two. Um, I'm going to be getting the rest of these purple capsules unboxed and um, reviewed, and then we're going to be putting those side by side. Uh, we've got these, um, so I mentioned doing a heat test between these three fro uh, frothers. I think that might be a good idea actually, just to see how hot this is on a latte setting, maybe this one on the standard frost setting and that one the middle frost setting. Um, just to see how that comes out heat wise, whether this is better or worse than this and all, well, all of them. Uh, so thanks for watching, enjoy your weekend, Hope we might catch up with you in a video, uh, another video, we'll see how we get on over our weekend. But thanks for watching and bye for now.